welcome to GYAS how are you I hope you are doing well so friends as you know that on our channel we are covering the syllabus of UPSC civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple MCQ series on our channel we have currently six prelims oriented series in which we cover your ancient India, medieval India, modern India, geography, polity, environment, etc. So what we basically do in these series, we daily cover five questions of each topic. So as as of now, six topics are covered. So five questions of each topic. Then if we multiply five with six, then it amounts to 30. So daily 30 questions that are solely oriented from your prelims angle, they, they are discussed on our channel. So daily five questions of each topic are covered. So we will continue to do so till 31st May. So why the date chosen has been 31st May? Because on 2nd June is your prelims of UPSC CSC 2019. And we will end this series only one day before your prelims exam. So friends, if you want to be confident in your exam, then do follow our series regularly because if you go by rough calculation and approximately 1000 thousand questions of each question, each topic will be covered. So in, a, in this way, you will be doing enough practice that is needed in your in your prelims exam. It will also help in your revision. The first question is which of the following were the constituents of home charges, which was one of the methods of economic drain. So friends, as you know that the British uh, economically drained India and economic drain theory was given by was also given by Dada Bhai Naruji in her in her um, book called uh, in, in, in his book Poverty and Un British Rule in India. So there were uh, uh, the, the, he there were certain home charges that were constituents of economic drain. So we have to consider that which of the following were the home charges. First is dividend to the shareholders of the East India Company. Second is interest on public debt up, uh, raised abroad. Third is pension and forlocks payment of British officers in the civil and military departments in India. Fourth is interest on foreign capital investments. So let me tell you friends that all these four were the were the constituents of home charges. So, so the correct option will be as we have to we have to choose the correct option. So as all the statements are correct. So the D solution is D that is one, two, three and four all are correct. So solution is D. So here is the explanation. So basically home charges are what they were. They were the expenditure incurred in England by by the secretary of state on behalf of India. And there were many constituents of it. And the main were dividends to shareholders of the East India Company interest on public debt and expenses of on Indian office establishment in London and pensions and four lakhs of payment of British officers payments to the British war office and the store purchases in England and interest on cap foreign capital investments was another important leakage from national income stream so this in this way the country was economically drained of its resources and its I mean, in its national and its national income so this is all about your first question let's move on to the second question let's see what is it second second question is which of the following statements are correct regarding the pits india act so already statements are here so uh, so let's see this which of the following statements are correct regarding pits india act of 1784 the first statement is it led to the formation of a board of controls to guide and control the work of code of directors second is it controlled the control of government of it it placed the control of government of india in hands of governor general and a council of three third is it subordinated the bombay madras presidency to bengal in questions of war diplomacy and revenue fourth is company retained its monopoly over trade in china but lost its monopoly over trade in india except for tree so let me tell you friends that the uh, first statement is correct yes there was a there was a establishment of board of control so basically to control the code of directors so it was to guide and control the code of directors and also the government of india was placed in the hands of governor general and a council of three so also the the the, the bombay and madras presidencies were subordinated to bengal presidency in questions of war diplomacy and revenue so in a, in a way centralization uh, process of the administration started from this act fits in the act of 1784 so regarding four statement friends four statement is incorrect because monopoly was not uh, uh, it um, uh, Monopoly was not uh, lo uh, ended in in uh, Pitts in the Act of 1784. Monopoly in of, with India and ended with the 1813 Act, except for tree. So uh, uh, for tea, for tea, not for tree. It was for tea. 
so so the fourth statement is incorrect so the correct answer is c that is one two and three only so the solution is c so friends here we have provided only you people the solution and if you want to get the explanation pdfs then i will tell you later on the explain detail of explanation pdfs how to get them so let's move on to the third question uh, by friends we have provided the explanation of first question because you might have idea uh, so so you so that so that you might get an idea that whether we are following the pattern of upsc or not so let's move on to other, uh, to the third question which of the following factors uh, led to the british conquest of sindh first is growing anglo french rivalry in europe and asia second is the commercial possibilities of river sindh third is to increase its influence in afghanistan and persia so we have to choose the correct answer using the codes given below so let me tell you friends that the correct answer is before telling the current uh, correct answers let's check which of which are the fall which of which among the following statements are correct so it was not friends anglo french rivalry it was actually anglo russia rivalry in europe and asia which led to british conquest of sindh so the first statement is outrightly incorrect regarding the second statement the commercial polities possibilities of river sindh yes there were there were certain commercial possibilities offered by the river sindh and that was that was one of the one among the many reasons that led that led the british to conquest sindh so second is is the is, is among the reasons and about the third the to increase its influence in afghanistan and persia yes it is also one of the reason because the british wanted to uh, extend their influence to afghanistan and persia they were of uh, they they were having doubt that the uh, that the russia would attack through afghanistan and persia over over india so if they if they uh, and then thought they if, that if the british controlled the sindh region and they would have the influence over afghanistan and persia and in this way russia could be prevented from entering from entering india so this 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 is a correct statement so the only two second and third statement is correct so the correct answer is c that is second and third only so the solution is c so let's move on to the uh, next question fourth question fourth question is the moderate submitted its grievances demands in the form of petitions before british government which one of the following was not of these early demands so friends uh, you know that the moderates have demanded a, a, great, a great deal of reforms from british government so here we have been asked that which of the following was not demanded is increased participation of indians in the legislative assembly b is indianization of civil services c is provide education in vernacular language d is reduction of military expenditure and tax tax burden so let me tell you friends that a is correct yes they demanded the participation of indian indians in the legislative assembly and also they demanded for the indianization of civil services so the second option is also correct regarding the third statement the third third statement third option provide education in vernacular friends they, uh, this was not the demand of the uh, moderates basically they demanded uh, quality education quality english education in in india they did not did not demanded the edu uh, that education should be in vernacular languages so the option is c that is provide education in vernacular language was not demanded by the moderates yes d thing uh, reduction of military expenditure was demanded uh, and tax burden was also asked to be reduced it was requested to british government that please reduce the tax burden on the indians yes so this was also demanded so the only option left is c so that so that so the solution is c so now let's move on to the fifth question with reference to 1857 revolt which of the following pair is correctly matched so you know that 1857 revolt friends about uh, you might have heard about this a lot quite a lot uh, times so let's uh, here we have been given the places and their the leaders that uh, that to by which leaders they, this they, these revolts were led so the places are lucknow and lucknow is begum hazrat mahal bareilly is converse singh faizabad azimullah delhi is general bakht khan so we have to choose the correct code we have to you choose the which of the following are correctly match so friends let me tell you yeah, tell you that yes from lucknow there was begum begum hazrat mahal but but regarding conversing he was not from bareilly he was from bihar that is ara ara district ara district so regarding the faizabad it was not azimullah it was molvi ahmedullah who 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 participated in faizabad who participated from faizabad regarding the delhi, delhi it, it is correct that is general bakht khan so only one and four are correct so the correct option is c that is solution is c so friends if you now now let me tell you friends that uh, as you know about upsc uh, and uh, as i have tell you told you that i will provide the details regarding the subscription to uh, 
explanation PDFs later on. So let me tell you that friends, the UPSC is not just about reading the questions and seeing their answers. UPSC is a lot more than that. You must have conceptual clarity. You must have facts in your mind. You must know why a particular option is correct and why others are not correct. So in this context, you uh, in you in in you must need the explanation of the question. So as I have provided in the first question, the explanation. So that tells you that standard which we are following, and you can judge better. Uh, then ask that whether we are at the level of UPSC or not. So for the purpose of motivation friends we have kept a minimum charges for this, this subscription of explanation PDFs. So let me tell you friends why these explanation PDFs are important because at the end of the day you will not be able to see 15 to 20 minute long videos and you will also be not not you will also not be able to read the long uh, uh, long standard books the bulky standard books and NCRTs because at that time you will not have that much of time to revise everything um, by following standard books or by reading NCRTs so at that time you must have some kind of notes at your hand so that you can revise all the concepts quickly so uh, all the important and uh, and and uh, most probable concepts that could be asked in exam they are covered quickly so answer and un question answer format is the best way to do this because questions uh, because standard books they become boring after second after second reading at the most uh, you can read them for two times after that it becomes boring and time waste time wasting and also friends this question answer format reduces your wastage of time and it help it helps you in revision because when you see a question you you see its answer a kind of curiosity arises in you to see its answer so when you see the answer if your answer is wrong then the curiosity arises but what is the right answer then and why a particular option is not correct so in this way multiple concepts are covered and obviously mcqs mcqs uh, must uh, should be such designed in a such a manner that they should follow the pattern of upsc and certainly we are designing these these uh, mcqs in a, in the similar pattern that the upsc has followed uh, from 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 long time so for, for for the purpose of easy revision so that your time does not waste you can you can subscribe to these explanation pdf so let me share the detail with you so friends this is the detail so for the explanation pdfs we for the different courses we charge you people different so for environment it is 50 for ancient india it is 100 for modern india it is 100 medieval it is 100 for geography it is 400 and for pearl quality it is 200 so friends let me tell you one thing that it, this is not the cost of one pdf this is the cost of entire course that you will get subscribed to if you make a payment for example if you want to subscribe to the mcq series of modern india then you will have to pay a just a minimum amount of rupees 100 and you will get subscribed to our uh, will get subscribed to our initiative that is you will be getting all the modern india lectures that we have covered and that we will be covering till 31st may so you will be uh, approximately if you go by calculation then approximately 1000 questions will be covered so but let me tell you friends that not 1000 questions will be covered in fact your 4000 concepts will be covered that is you will be revising comprehensively for your prelims part and and you will feel confident and it it, it will help it will it will it will help you in the minimum possible time so if you want by uh, so these are the individual courses but if in case you want the complete package then complete package is available in 950 but we are offering a discount on it that that is those students who want the complete package we are offering to those students a, a discount of rupees 150 so if you want to get the, the the to to subscribe to this initiative then you can whatsapp us at this number that is 89684264 so this is our number you can whatsapp us at this number and can subscribe to our initiative so this is all about friends today's video and uh, lastly let me tell you friends that if you like this video please like it share it with your friends and please comment if you have any suggestion i will certainly consider it and please subscribe to our uh, youtube channel and please do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important notifications relating to the upsc csc 2019 that we that we are doing on our channel so this is all about thank you friends thank you very much